Hello everybody. I am Vijay Kumar Sahu, working on a project CSQL main memory database and cache for Lakshya Solution as a software engineer. In this video presentation, I will demonstrate how to install CSQL, how to start CSQL server, how to work on CSQL main memory database and how to configure CSQL as per your requirement. CSQL main memory database cache is available in dual license model. GPL for open source at sourceports.net and proprietary license for enterprise at csqldb.com. For open source CSQL main memory database, go to sourceforce.net project CSQL and download the latest version of CSQL. After download, you will find CSQL 3.0 Linux x86.tar.dj Extract this file You will find there is a directory called CSQL 3.0 Linux x86 Go inside CSQL home directory. You'll find there is a set of env.kss. This set of env.kss is used to set all the library paths. So to run this, write this. Now you can start CSQL server. To start CSQL server, go to CS scripts. Inside scripts, there is a startup.sh. Run startup.sh to start the server. Now, CSQL server starts without verbos mode. Now, use CSQL tool to do any database operation. By default, CSQL create 11 MB of shared memory. You can increase the shared memory by configuring CSQL. 
for the configuration of c square there is this c square dot com file inside sample inside sample you will get csql.com file there is a max underscore sys underscore dv underscore size this is the system database size and the max underscore dv underscore size that is the user database file you can increase the system database and user database to create larger database size <clears throat> after setting csql conf csql.com file you can start your database server now you will see inside win these are the all executable files and inside li liv there is all csql libraries you will get there is a jar file named as csql jdbc diver dot jar this is for jdbc csql jdbc driver and there is a liv csql odbc dot so which is used to connect through odbc to csql let us demonstrate one example of jdbc and odbc inside example you will get jdbc directory inside jdbc directory there is a sample example is there to run that example compile this putting make and to run write java jdbc example this example this jdbc example programmed create it tables and insert 10 records update 5 records delete 4 records and drop the record and drop the table now let us go odbc directory there is a sample example for odbc to compile there is a make file type make it will compile and to run and to run type dot slash dot odbc dot example and this example we create a table and insert 10 record and fetch this is the program which is connect to test csql create a table named as t1 and insert 10 record select all records and delete all records and drop the table you can see the libraries odbc driver this is the odbc driver which is available inside csql install directory and here there is a LIV which I already I have already shown that directory to stop the to stop database server go to 
script there is another script shutdown.sh run shutdown.sh to stop database server in this way you can start the server and you can work on csql for more information visit csqldb.com and sourceforce.net slash projects slash csql thank you